Hello everyone. We have seen that private law can be classified under four heads. Law of torts, law of obligation, law of property and personal law. In the last three presentations, we have discussed the scope and importance of the first three categories of private law. This presentation will focus on the scope and importance of the last category that is personal law. What is personal law? Personal law deals with personal matters of an individual like marriage, adoption, succession, etc. People belonging to different classes based on their religion, faith or culture may have different rules governing their personal matters. As the personal law governs the family relationships by and large, it is sometimes called family law. In the beginning, property law and succession which arose from property and economic issues arising from marriage were the main concern of family. Regarding parent-child relationship, concepts like guardianship, custody and legitimacy were associated with power structure of the family and economic interest. Matters of personal status like whether a person is married or not and whether a child is legitimate or not fall within the purview of family law though they are important from the property law point of view also. Family law also shares an interest in social issues with other areas of law like criminal law and torts, example domestic violence, dowry menace etc. Family group has an internal structure and relationships within itself and with third parties. Spouses and the children they produce or adopt constitute the most common form of family group. Thus, the family is concerned with the rights of spouses and their children and duties of the spouses towards each other and towards their children. Rules determining the consequences of marriage, divorce, custody and maintenance of natural and adopted children and rules pertaining to inheritance that is share in ancestral property and succession to property are provided by family. As religion has a strong influence on the family in India, family law is guided by religion and applies to aspects of marriage, divorce, guardianship, adoption, maintenance and succession. In India, personal law governing Hindus Muslims, Christians and Parsis are different. Hindus, Sikhs, Buddhists and Jains are governed by the Hindu Marriage Act, the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act, the Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act and the Hindu Succession Act. People belonging to religions other than Hindus and Muslims are governed by Christian Marriage Act Parsi Marriage and Divorce Act, the Indian Divorce Act, the Special Marriage Act, the Guardians and Wards Act and the Indian Succession Act. Muslims are governed by Shariat in matters relating to marriage and divorce, dower, guardianship, gifts, trusts, walks, intestate succession and special property of females inherited or obtained under contract or gift. The rights and duties both personal and proprietary which an individual possesses by virtue of his or her status as a wife, husband, father, mother and a child whether natural or adopted are known only when he or she acquaints himself or herself with the personal law that is applicable to him or her and hence it is important to possess an idea as to where to find the relevant law. Personal law being a fertile area of civil litigation, a lawyer who is well versed with personal law will flourish in civil practice. Thank you.